All right, well, let's um, come to, some people will say the elephant in the room, who is, of course, Prince Andrew. Charlie, <laughs> we've been here before multiple times um, with Andrew. This perhaps um, isn't as serious as some of the instances that he's uh, found himself in or the accusations he's found uh, himself faced with. Nonetheless, yet again, his name being dragged through the mud. Well... This, for me, is another nail in the coffin of Prince Andrew, which has already been nailed down quite extensively over the last few years. He's had to deal with this for, for, for some years now. And I should think that uh, the King and particularly Prince William will be holding their he head in their hands uh, at these latest revelations. And it's not going to stop here. When you read that Prince Andrew has been accused of taking part in an underage orgy, that is close on paedophilia. And the girl Jane Doe 3, who in fact is Virginia Giuffre, uh, uh, says in her deposition that she was ordered to have sex with Prince Andrew on at least three occasions and give him exactly what he wanted. Uh, now, two of those occasions in America were underage sex. The the sex in London in Gillian Maxwell's flat, she was 17. I'm not suggesting that that was a right scenario, but she was 17. So there is an argument there about whether it's rape or consensual. Um, but these are, these allegations that are coming out uh, are, are going to go down like a lead balloon at the palace, particularly as we're going to have more documents leaking out on, on, practically on a day-by-day -day basis. And we don't know what's going to be said about Prince Andrew. Now, these are sworn depositions under oath. And Andrew so far has failed to come up with any reasonable defence, apart from saying, "I didn't." Uh, these allegations are false and not nothing to do with me. He has now got to come out and say something not in an Emily Maitlis interview, which was a disaster, but he's got to come out with a defence. Otherwise, people are just going to believe that he was heavily involved in this underage sex now, scenario. Charlie, when um, Prince Andrew settled that case with Virginia yeah. Giuffre, it was in the run-up to uh, the Queen's Jubilee celebrations. We sure. are told that he was put under pressure. Um, to settle and not to create even more of a brouhaha by going over to the States and facing these accusations, maybe even having his day in court. It's now possible, not saying any more than that, but it's possible that perhaps he might be tempted, if he really believes that he's innocent, of doing what he didn't do then. And there are still invitations from the authorities um, in the States for him to go over and give evidence. Can you see that happening? Well, uh, not not really, not the way things are at, at the moment. And let's let's not forget, you're quite right about uh, you know the the run up to the, the the jubilee. But it was Andrew and his legal team who were putting barricades up all along. Remember, Andrew always said he would he would um, cooperate with the FBI and the various district attorneys, and never once did he uh, give a deposition. And they even offered to come over here and do it here. And he's been stalling and his legal team have been stalling all the way through. I can't see with that under the way things are at the moment that he would be um, taken to America uh, to answer these questions because he would face some real scrutiny over what happened and when it happened. Again, remember... You know, he went over to see Jeffrey Epstein. He says, because he was a decent chap and wanted to see face-to-face, -face, I can't have anything more to do with you. He doesn't remember Virginia Giuffre, despite the fact that a picture which has been verified by the FBI is in existence. So he's got an awful lot of questions to answer all the way through.